Okay, pen might hit the paper, but we making more than songs Like us in the music, we've been writing more than wrongs Lightning in the bottle, stories to be long That's why I'm in the front row, arms locked with the straw See, I don't know how others get by Me and my sisters and brothers alike We step in the party, knowing everybody's a part of a bigger And the potential follow-up frags, there's still two of them for Nip but the molly goes towards Fork instead. Not going to force anybody into the open. That long flank's been shut down, and Jane picks up a kill. So giving them this three-person after plant could come back to bite them. Dennis can't manage to get the kill off of the flash, but Rez is still up, and Rez oh, is got no all way. three. 4K for him, and Avant-Garde denied a second round. Today, as he gets to get Mike twice to get Electro, steals it out from underneath Majescu. Can't buy a kill in this round. He's done a ton of damage. The nade might collect one as they jump inside the site. Device needs to be aware of that fact. And this does indeed collect. Device goes to the pistol. It's all on to res. One on three. And Astralis looking at a 13 1 scoreline. He can do it though. Res in position with Device looking oh. awkward. This can absolutely happen. Magus now one versus one. Res has looked so good on trade. I think he's going to pull this one off, Matthew. He absolutely does. Finally, a lifeline there for NIP. So easily, but because Astralis can treat this as an anti ego, I mean, this is one of the rounds they, they know how to lock up, and there's two kills to kick things off. Right, they're trying to make plays, they're trying to push and to duel here, trying to make something, disrupt Astralis, create discomfort like what was done to them. But it does not seem to be working unless Rez and Dennis can manage to pull this back, and there's still the chance. But the CZ goes dry, and they know where Rez resided. Does he want to play like the full-on post-plant situation or does he want to try to take contact first? From our perspective, it feels like he might as well peek, but it seems like he's expecting some kind of crazy flank. And unfortunately, he won't re be rewarded with that. Standard 2v1 is not going to be easy for him. That smoke is going to activate his presence. The first one, Deke, is out. But it's Zipex. It's Zipex, Mohan, and we know what this man oh! does! And we know what Rez can do! Oh, oh, oh. What a banger! Woo! Wins out on the clutch, tags him, bags him, and keeps Nip in this. An 11th round for them and four to go. One point on the line if they're able to make this to 15, but uh, what a point that would be. Fantastic 1v2 from Rez. 4K on the round, I mean. Is the unit that is going. And they want to go with aggression and speed, but they're going nowhere as Rez shuts them down. He wants the ace. He'll go with it for a MAC-10. Doesn't want to overcommit because there's still flames down. He knows Volda can't be inside of those. That was sick. My god, Rez showing us why he's considered one of the absolute best players in the NIP there roster. Is. And he nails it. Beautiful ace there from the young gun of NIP. They go for the banana rush, but they don't stand a chance against this young man. Well played. Uh, yesterday, however, we've got a bunch of players who only won one match and ended up losing or tying their second match, so the points are very split up. It's a very close match. That looks important indeed, but hello, Rez. What a way to start. He's got himself four headshots already. I mean, this is the first round of what is, again, a very incredibly important round of matches, and all right, why not pick up a 4K? Makes it look way too easy. However, he's still on for the ace because it's just Cold Zero left. MIBR have been dispatched up in the pistol. He barely sees opponents. That's it. That's Rez with five headshots in the opening round versus MIBR.